This is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so I just unboxed the uh, T-Mobile Rebel, set up my accounts and all that kind of stuff, and I realized you really need a video on how to speed up this phone and how to save battery life on it. Because there are some definitely things that are slowing this phone down that we can definitely get rid of, and we can definitely make this phone a lot faster. So this will be how to speed up the phone and how to improve the battery life. So we're gonna start off by going into settings, swiping all the way down and go to about phone. From here, we're going to swipe down and hit the build number repeatedly. So this part build number. And now that it's done, go back. And from here, you're gonna to go to developer options. Developer options is a place where you do not wanna mess with anything else except for what I tell you. So be careful here. Um, and we're gonna swipe down until we get to the drawing category. Now in the drawing category right here, you're going to see three things that say animation and scale. So see three things that say animation and scale, and you're gonna change all three of them to 0.5. What you are telling the phone is that, hey, I know you can do everything in a second, but I want you to do all of it in half a second. And now you're gonna automatically see just your phone move much quicker than it did before. So it's moving a lot quicker as it realizes it doesn't need to move that slow anymore. So now that you have that, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to location, hit these three dots, and go to scanning. By default, Android has Bluetooth scanning on even if your Bluetooth is off. So you're gonna turn that off so that that will save you a pretty good amount of battery life. Wi-Fi scanning, I would not turn off because your Google Maps will not be able to locate you as quickly if you turn that off. Now, the next thing is going to be getting rid of this thing that drains your battery life so much, and that is Lookout. Now, Android built-in has Android Device Manager, which allows you to find your phone if it's ever lost. So you don't need that Lookout part for that. Um, as long as you signed into your Gmail, it's automatically on, and you can go to any computer, type in Android Device Manager, sign in, and locate the phone. The second thing that Lookout does is an antivirus. As long as you do not download any uh, bad stuff from third-party apps or different uh, kind of websites, then you should be fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab Lookout, go to App Info, and then we're going to force stop it and disable it. This will save you about an hour more in battery life. That's how much Lookout drains your phone. So this is really good for that purpose. So now Lookout is gone, and we're already seeing a much faster phone. The next thing is that this one has a few advanced features, and we want to turn most of them off. So in gestures, we're going to turn off turnover mute, because that uses the accelerometer at all times. We're gonna turn off turnover at activation, because that uses the accelerometer when you are using your uh, phone. And I would turn on double tap for the screen, so that way when your screen is off, you can double tap it and to turn it on. So really nice in terms of that, I like that feature. And then just so you know, you have three finger uh, screenshot on here too. And uh, the last thing is just for display. Uh, if you do want to have a longer battery life, uh, you want to make sure to turn uh, night mode on that uses less of a blue tint so your screen isn't as bright. I would turn off adaptive uh, brightness and just set it manually so that you do not drain your battery. Around here is good, uh, but that way these sensors aren't always on trying to detect how much light you need. And I like ambient display, but if you uh, prefer your screen to turn on entirely when you get a notification, then leave that. But this is just a nice little black and white uh, kind of notification, uh, letting you know that you have a notification. So I turn that on. But yeah, those are going to be all the main features to speed up and make your battery life better. And you can already tell on our phone, it's much, much faster than it was before. So really good when it comes to that, that just everything is moving so much faster than it did before. 
All right, guys, hopefully you did like this video. If you did, please give a like, thumbs up down below. Hopefully you'll have a better experience with this phone now. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.